Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be covering the hit wicket law, which is law number 35 in cricket law book. Let's watch few videos to understand this law better. Here you go. Stroke here. He's been hit and he's walked away. Well, I suggest that's out. So, what do you guys think about this? Should this be given out? Save your judgment for a moment. Let's watch one more video. Watch this here. The, he lets it go. Now watch his bat. Let's watch it very closely. Does he hit the stumps? He does. In fact, he was out hit wicket. So what do you guys think about this one? So it looks like the decision will be out in both the cases, right? To our surprise, in both the cases, the decision is not out. So what do you guys think about it? Should have been given out? Now let us analyze why they were given not out and what exactly law 35 has to say. Let's take a look. Law 35 states that the striker is out hit wicket if after the bowler has entered his delivery stride and while the ball is in play, his wicket is put down by either his bat or person as described in laws 29.1.1.2 to 29.1.1.4 in any of the following circumstances. Well, did you guys understand this? Bit confusing, isn't it? Well, this is how most of the laws are written in the law book. Let's dig deep into it. Let's understand few terms used in the statement. Delivery stride. Well, let's watch a video to understand it better. Delivery stride is the stride during which the bowler swings his arm to deliver the ball. It starts when the bowler's back foot lands for that stride and ends when the front foot lands in the same stride. Point to be noted here is, the hit wicket is valid only after the bowler reaches his delivery stride. If the striker's wicket is put down before the bowler enters his delivery stride, then the umpire should call it dead ball and further action will be invalid. Next term is, wicket is put down. It means that at least one bale from the top of the stumps is put down. Next point is striker's bat or person as described in laws 29.1.1.2 to 29.1.1.4. This talks about the ways by which wicket can be put down. For the hit wicket purpose, wicket can be put down by striker's bat or batsman's body or any of his equipment he is wearing. This includes helmet, gloves, any of the protective pads he is wearing or by any equipment detaching from his body. For example, helmet of the striker might get detached from his body and might go on to hit the stumps. So this also can be considered for hit wicket case. Now that we are clear with the prerequisites, let's see under which circumstances batsman will be out hit wicket. In the course of any action taken by him in preparing to receive or in receiving a delivery. As you can see in this video, the batsman puts down his wicket by his bat while preparing to receive the delivery. He is out hit wicket. As you can see in this video, the batsman puts the wicket down by his bat in the course of receiving a delivery. He is out hit wicket. In this case, the batsman puts down his wicket by his leg in the course of receiving a delivery. He is out hit wicket. Number 2. In setting off for the first run immediately after playing or playing at the ball. Just like what Virat Kohli does in this case. Third point. If no attempt is made to play the ball, meaning if the batsman leaves the ball, in setting off for the first run immediately after he had the opportunity of playing the ball. Meaning, if he leaves the ball and puts the wicket down right after the ball passes him. In this case, it was given not out because the batsman doesn't hit the wicket right after the ball passes him. Instead, he hits the wicket after significant amount of time. Next point is, in lawfully guarding his wicket. In this case, the batsman defends the ball, but the ball starts to move towards the stump. In order to protect his wicket, the batsman tries to push the ball away, but in the process, he puts down the wicket by his back. He is out, hit wicket. Well, these were the cases where the batsman will be given out. 
Hit Wicket Law also talks about the cases where the batsman will be given not out though he puts down the wicket when the ball is in play. Let's take a look at them as well. It occurs after the striker has completed any action in receiving the delivery. In this case, the batsman was given not out because he puts down his wicket after he completed his action in receiving the delivery and he was trying to move away. Next point is, it occurs when the striker is in the act of running other than setting off immediately for the first run. As you can see in this case, the batsman doesn't set off for the run immediately playing the shot and now his wicket is put down. This won't be given out either. Also, he won't be given out if he puts down the wicket while running for subsequent runs. Next point is, it occurs when the striker is trying to avoid being run out or stumped. Example for this case is, batsman puts in dive to save himself from run out or stump and during this process he puts down the wicket. He'll be not out in this case as well. Next point is, it occurs when the striker is trying to avoid a throw in at any time. So there can be a situation where he has to save himself from a fast incoming throw. So he has to make a sudden movement and during the process he puts down the wicket. He'll be not out in this case as well. Next case. If the batsman puts down the wicket after the bowler enters his delivery stride and further if the bowler doesn't release the ball for any reason, batsman won't be given out hit wicket. And lastly, the batsman won't be given out if no ball is called for any reason. So that's all from Hit Wicket guys. Do like and comment if you have any sort of doubts. And don't forget to subscribe.